गुड डे एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू एपिसोड सिक्स ऑफ लर्न इन वेस्टर्न माई नेम इज सौंदर्य लक्ष्मी नारायण टेक अ पीस ऑफ पेपर एंड राइट ऑन योर शॉर्ट टर्म गोल्स एंड लॉन्ग टर्म गोल्स योर शॉर्ट टर्म गोल्स कैन बी समथिंग लाइक बाइंग योर फेवरेट मोबाइल फोन बाइंग योर फेवरेट लैपटॉप एक्सेट्रा योर लॉन्ग टर्म गोल्स कैन बी समथिंग लाइक प्लानिंग योर रिटायरमेंट एक्सेट्रा सो वंस यू हैव रिटर्न डाउन योर शॉर्ट टर्म एंड लॉन्ग टर्म गोल्स अंडरस्टैंड द अमाउंट ऑफ मनी विच विल बी रिक्वायर्ड इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव योर शॉर्ट टर्म गोल्स एंड लॉन्ग टर्म गोल्स well to achieve short term goals and long term goals we need some amount of money right but which investment type should i invest in for my retirement which investment type should i invest in to buy a laptop both will vary the types of investments that you should go for will vary depending on your short term goals and long term goals let me bring back the risk and rewards table to help you understand this one of your goals might be retirement planning as long as you are employed you will get a monthly salary using which you can take care of your monthly and yearly expenses but what is your life after that how are you going to take care of your expenses well with the rising amount of inflation you could have understood that fixed deposits and savings account is not going to put you in a very comfortable financial position in the future so if you are young now start investing in mutual funds as a beginner and slowly move towards investing in shares so that you will have a sizable corpus during your retirement for some of you the goal might be tax saving with investment types like public provident fund national pension scheme employee provident fund you can save up to 1.5 lakhs of tax every year and the interest that you get for your ppf is totally tax free if you look at the risk and rewards table you can understand the amount of returns that you can actually get from each of these investment types but if you are investing in fixed deposits you will be levied a tax of 10% if your rate of returns exceed rupees 40000 a year your goal might be financial freedom it is my goal as well but then for the past 15 years if you have seen different types of investment mostly shares have provided at least 15 to 20% of returns in the past 20 years so if we can invest in shares now itself when we are young then it will have a very compounding effect in the future so if your goal is financial freedom investing in shares can make sure that we can double triple or even quadruple our money that we are investing number 4 is reaching your financial goals let's take an example of mr puneet who wants to buy a decent car in the next 10 years he starts to invest 120000 rupees every year in mutual funds and after 10 years looking at his return using the risk and rewards table i think he can buy a very good car like swift and still have some amount of money to spend So understand what are your financial goals and take investment decisions based on them. Use the smart technique to understand your financial goals. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time bound. For example, I want to buy a car worth 10 lakhs in the next 5 years. So if I have a very clear goal, a crystal clear goal, I will have a good plan, an investment plan to move towards that goal. I'm pretty sure all of you have understood the importance of goals in investment. We are going to discuss about tax that will be levied on your investments in the next video. So do watch the next video. Before that, subscribe to the channel, give this video a huge thumbs up and share it with everybody in your circle and also comment below what is your investing goal. See you all in the next video.